Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. Today's video going to talk about the 40 client advanced feature, auto connect, and always up. You may got this kind of requirement. Your user want your 40 client VPN always on, even if it's disconnected. They want it to be able to auto connect to it, and they were never going to be idled out. That's one of the business requirements I got recently. So I did some research. I found out Fortinet has changed this feature to a paid version, 40 client EMFs. The free version, 40 client, will not be able to use this feature anymore, even you already configured it in your FortiGate. As I show you here, I won't be able to enable it because it's unavailable for the free version, which I downloaded from a 40 gig download website. So now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it free. Still, there's a way to use it free. I found it. It's still working. But now let's jump into it. In my previous video, I already have a step-by-step -step guide to show you how to configure SSL VPN and how to use your 40 client to connect to it. I was using test drive. In this video, I'm going to use in my lab environment to show you those steps again very quick. But more important, I want to show you a different way to handling your situations, business requirement for auto connect or for always on. There's two scenarios. One is for your idle timeout, which you can change the idle timeout settings to make sure your connection not locked out after eight hours because of uh, real authentication. Another common series is uh, just using this save password auto connect always up feature. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore for free latest for the client after version 6.2. How about the previous version 6.0? So here we're gonna check that out and I will show you it is working. So let's go through that. All steps I already put in here so you, sh you should be able to see the detailed information in my blog post which I show you in this video description. Now let's get in to set up our SSL VPN. Since I already had a video to talk about how to configure SSL VPN, for this section I'm gonna make it quiet and play some music in background and then make it uh, faster to configure without any explanation. If you want to watch the detailed steps, go back to this video which you can find out the link in the video description. So now I'm gonna quickly configure SSL VPN and connect to it.
So there are two problems we're gonna resolve today. One thing is SSL VPN connection will be logged out after eight hours. That's based on the default settings. So what we can do is we're gonna change this VPN settings set idle timeout to zero, which can give it no timeout. It will kind of always on and the SSL VPN gateway will not re-authenticate your forty kind again. So that way you can make sure your connection can last longer. The longest setting here is 259200, which is 72 hours. Or you can completely put a zero as no timeout. How we can do that? You can go to CLI console and then put those command in. You can set to zero and then end to save the configuration. There's a warning, which is fine. We are using factory default certificate. Of course, the vendor gonna suggest you to use a certificate signed by your own CA or third party CA. So that's our first idle timeout change from default settings to zero, which gonna give you longer time for your 40 client SSL VPN connection. The second scenario is about the auto connect and always up. For this setup, as you can see from the documentation, you can see there's a save password, auto connect, and the always up, all those configuration here. In our lab environment, we didn't see them. We only see save password. We can save the password once you put it in. So we can put our password in. And once you connect it, the password will be saved. But where is auto connect? And always up. So last settings actually is coming here. So we double click your SSL VPN portal. No matter which portal you are using, there's a tunnel mode and there's a web mode. So right now we are using top tunnel mode here. You don't need to change anything, you just enable those three settings. Allow client to save password, allow client to connect, automatically allow client to keep connection alive. So we save the settings. We come back here. We're going to do the connection again. And then this time you will see the difference. So we will connect to it. So there's no issue with connection. Now you need to disconnect it. As you can see, there's auto connect and always up. Those two settings are here. Unfortunately, you still cannot use it. Why? Because we are using free version. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're going to find a way to use it. Basically, we're going to use in the previous free version, which still have this option free for that client. So as if you look at the KB here, you will find out there's some explanation about auto connect. You will see the following features are not supported in the 40 client since version 6.2. Free version is not supported and after that, how about the version 6.0 and how we can get it. So now let me show you how to get 6.0 and we can try those advanced features without paying those commercial versions of 40 kind EMS solution. To get an old 40 client version, you need a 40 cloud account and you need a proper authorization to download it. For example, I'm using my account to log in and if you go to support, you can see firmware download. From there, you get a 40 care. You can select product, 40 client, and you will get the those latest version, download, Windows, then you will see the older version. If you are able to see them, then exactly you can download those older version, whatever you need it. Um, as mentioned, we need to download 6.0, uh, 
last one is 6.0.10 version to make sure you get the x64 bit version not 32 bit version those two are 32 bit i already downloaded them which i put on my windows sandbox so we can quickly install it there's no vpn only version there for downloading so this is a full version um, you can enable lots of other components but for us we just need the security mode access next install the installation is very straightforward and simple click next 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 you should be able to get it done in two minutes once done we're gonna create our profile to connect into our vpn gateway then we're gonna testing that auto connect and always up option to see how it works we're gonna simulate in uh, network card failure there's no internet connection your 40 client ssl vpn connection will be completely down but once we enable it it will auto connect to our vpn gateway that's what we're gonna do Finish forty client. There are vulnerability scanning. You also can connect into EMS. We don't need those. We just need to go to remote access. Configure it. We just can test VPN. We get the VPN gateway IP. My lab address. I'm using customized port four four three and saving login as well. And I don't want to warm invalid server certificate, save it, and then we can connect into it. Okay, it's connected. So we got an IP address, that's a private IP address from your DHCP pool in your SSL VPN. Now we can disconnect to it. We should be able to get to this, all those options. Now you can choose all of them. There's no prompt to say you need to upgrade to the license version or uh, free version is not supporting those features. Nothing, no notification anymore. So we just do connection, connect to it. We connect to it with always up and auto connect option and the save password those three options selected now let's simulate a failure of network open network and the internet settings change adapt option so there's a ethernet so we can let me close others this is on Let's disable this one. So disabled Ethernet connection, which gonna bring the 40 client SSL VPN down right away. And they are trying to reconnect to it. You can tell they're unable to establish VPN connection. So for now, let's enable it. The Ethernet enabled it and then the system auto connecting to the SSL VPN gateway. Perfect. So everything works as expected. 6.0.10 is the last version supported these two feature free without paying for EMS solution. I hope this video gave you an idea how to use for the client those advanced features auto connect and always up. If you found this video helpful, Give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.